In our newscast this evening, we have been mar marking a milestone here at KDKA, our 70th anniversary on the air. A one-hour broadcast on January 11, 1949, launched Pittsburgh's first television station. And so far today, we've looked back at some of our programs over the years and the big news events that we've covered. So now we pause to remember some of the newscasters who have brought you the news here on KDKA for the past 70 years. For 35 and a half years, Bill Burns was the face of KDKA News. His first broadcast was on July the 19th, 1953, when KDKA was known as WDTV. The Aluminum Company of America has reached a wage settlement with the United Steelworkers. Bill took over for Dave Murray, and as he once recalled, the newsroom staff of the early 50s was slim. There were only two of us in the newsroom, news editor George Thomas and myself. In 1954, when Westinghouse bought WDTV and changed the call letters to KDKA, the news department expanded. This is Dave Kothick. This is Paul Moyer. Also among the new crop of reporters, broadcasting pioneers Al McDowell and Paul Long. In the 60s, Pittsburghers woke up to morning news with Don Riggs and Marcy Lynn Pugh. 7, 28, and 15 seconds is the time. This is daybreak. Also during the 60s, KDKA led the way in breaking barriers, becoming one of the first stations to hire African-American reporters. Big Miles reporting. This is Ann Jordan reporting. And giving more prominent roles to female journalists, including Marie Torrey. Don't you just a little bit nervous, perhaps not as sure of yourself as you might sound in public? and Eleanor Shano and Yvonne Forston. The 70s brought two legendary newscasters to KDKA, one with a very familiar name. Good afternoon. I'm Patty Burns with the Midday News. Bill Burns' daughter, Patty, joined KDKA in 1974. And just a few years later... Eyewitness News at noon with Bill Burns, Patty Burns. Bill and Patty were paired as co-anchors on the new news, becoming the first father-daughter anchor team in the country. Their newscast, which viewers affectionately called would continue for more than a decade. One of Patty's other co-anchors at the time was a broadcasting giant in his own right. As a matter of fact, it was 25 years ago that Dr. Starzl first gave someone a second chance by performing a kidney transplant. Ray Tannehill joined KDKA in the late 70s and became a trusted newscaster here for nearly 25 years. In fact, the late 70s and 80s brought many newscasters to KDKA who would go on to have long careers here. Among them, Harold Hayes, Mary Rob Jackson, and Lynn Hayes Freeland, as well as newscasters who are still on the air, including Ralph Iannotti, Paul Martino, Brenda Waters, John Shumway, and me. Good evening. It is called Live Aid. It will be watched by more than a billion people worldwide. In my 35 and a half years here, I have shared the anchor desk with several co-anchors including for many years, Patrice King-Brown. Good evening. It is now 45 hours since a mine accident. In the 90s, Ken Rice and Jennifer Ankoviak brought KDK's 5 o'clock news to life. Good evening. Tonight, several families in turmoil. And reporters such as David Highfield, Andy Sheehan, John Delano, Mary Berecki, and Don Cannon joined the KDK news team. The first decade of the new millennium brought another new crop of reporters to KDKA, including Bob Allen, Ross Gadotti, Dr. Maria Simbra, and the husband and wife duo of Marty Griffin and Christine Sorensen. Hi, honey. It's fun to have you here. It's a kiss. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's never happened before. And in just the past decade, we have welcomed even more new reporters to the KDK team who now bring you the news every day. For the sports scene tonight. In the early days, Ray Scott was a one-man sports department. Over the years, KDK Sports has included names like Bob Prince, sweet old Bill Curry, John Sanders, John Staggerwald, Rich Walsh, and Bob Pompiani. They remain undefeated at home during the 85-86 campaign. After more than 35 years, Bob is perhaps the most recognizable name in Pittsburgh sports. He runs 80 degrees. For more than 30 years, when Pittsburghers wanted to know the weather, they turned to KDKA Chief Meteorologist Bob Kutzma, as well as other trusted forecasters, including Larry Richard, John Burnett, and Dennis Bowman. His name is William Pope. He's 80 years old now. The news is not always bad news. For many years, in a segment called On a Positive Note, Brenda Waters brought us good news from the community. Why don't they take the boulders away? Because if they do, perhaps more of the wall will come down. And what about the homes up above? When it comes to consumer news, no one did it better than Wayne Van Dyne, 
Lynn Sawyer, Bill Flanagan, and Yvonne Zanos. I did get it to work, but it takes a lot of work to get it to work. Now, Susan Copen works to protect consumers. So if you have old smoke alarms in your house... They may not work. Crap shoot. That's right. And for hard-hitting commentary with the side of theatrics, Al Julius was in a class of his own. Golden rule of politics is he who has the gold, he who spreads the gold, rules. While the faces that bring you the news on KDKA have changed over the years, one thing has remained the same. We remain committed to fair and honest reporting, covering the issues that are important to you, and serving the community that has welcomed us into their homes for the past 70 years. Bill Burns wishing you good night, good luck, and good news tomorrow. Those, of course, are just some of the KDK newscasters of the past 70 years. There have been countless others as well. Not to mention the countless other people who have worked here and continue working here behind the scenes in our newsroom, our control room, the studio, and throughout our entire station who have made KDKA one of the best television stations in the country. A thank you to Corey Martin, who produced our segments and a phenomenal job of editing by both Marty Rogers and Ian Smith. Most importantly today, we are grateful to you, our loyal viewers who have turned to us and trusted us for 70 years. Thank you from all of us here at KDKA.